Welcome to Power Pivot video number 15. Hey, if you want to download this workbook or one of the other five, four workbooks, five in total, you can click on the link below the video. So check this out. This question regards three source files. Actually, there's eight source files. I only did three here. And each one is an Excel workbook with hundreds of thousands of rows. So here we have 300,000 rows. In the table 2, we have 400,000 rows. And in the first one, we have 500,000 rows. And here's the deal. There's this lookup table. And there's three categories that together determine the unique identifier to determine which row to look up this category to then go summarize all of those revenues. This person was doing a three-way lookup with array formulas. Now, back in uh, video number four in this series, we talked about how array formulas take a lot of calculating time. And when you have this much big data, there's just no way. The array formulas are just going to choke. So let's see if we can merge or append these three tables through Power Query, dump it over into PowerPit, and then make our concatenating columns to create a unique identifier in Power Pivot and see if we can then create relationships and create our report. I'm going to go ahead and close all these files. So we're going to start in the worksheet Power Pivot 15 Big Data 3-Way Lookup. And we're going to go to Power Query from a file, from Excel file. And here's the first source file. I'm going to double click. There's our sheet. There's our table. I'm going to select our table, right click, load to. I'm going to only create a connection and load. Back up to Power Query from File, from Excel, we'll get our second table. Come over to our table, right click, Load to. Here's Only Create a Connection, Load. Power Query, from File, from Excel. There's our third table. Right click, Load to. Only Create a Connection and Load. One, two, three tables. Back up to Power Query. Append, we're going to start with table 11, and we're going to append table 21. OK. I went ahead and gave it the name all three tables. Enter. We need to add one more table, so I'm going to append query and get number 31. OK. Now we're going to go up to Close and Load 2. We're adding this to the data model. I only want to create a connect. Add this to data model, Load. There it is, one point, almost 1.3 million rows. Now I'm going to save this file, Control-S. And I want to go look at Windows Explorer. And let's see, there's our file right there. There's 2.1 megabytes. And we had our three tables over here, 12, 11, and 8 megabytes. So that's that awesome columnar database compressing our table. Alt-Tab. Now let's go to Power Pivot Manage, or Alt-BM. OK, so we got this here. And look at that. We can see that. We still have one more table. Power Query, From File, From Excel. There's our Source Categories. Double click. I'm going to right click Edit. Those other tables, I had faith that they would come through fine. This one looks like. We have text here. We saw this in an earlier Power Query video. Because the text field names, we're going to have to come to this button and say, use first row as row headers. There we go. Looking good. Close and load to. Only create a connection. Add this to the data model. Load. There we go. Alt-Tab, because I already have the 
model open. And we're going to have to do a little work in both tables to get our report. Let's first create a unique identifier. This is the category we're going to drop into the pivot table row fillers, but we're going to need to get all three of these. So we're going to create a calculated column, double click, then like join to get primary, equals. This table is category, so I'm going to go category table class and the ampersand C A L O E subcategory and the ampersand C A down arrow L O S line code description and enter. So there we have our primary key. We're going to actually use that to join the two tables. I'm going to go over to all three tables. Now, this is 1 point million, right? And we're adding a calculated column. It shouldn't uh, affect things much, because when you create an, a calculated column, it will refresh and calculate. When you refresh the data, the individual values will be stored in the columnar database. But because there's not very many unique values, we shouldn't get a big hit on RAM, and so it should be OK. I'm going to double click this column header, join to get primary. The name of this table is all three, so equals ALL. I'm going to get class, tab, ampersand, ALLT, and we'll get LOE subcategory and ALLT, and we need LOE line code description, and Enter. Double click. Now let's go over to Diagram View. Here's our lookup table in essence, or our dimension table. Join to get primary, join to get primary. We're going to create a relationship. And there we go. I'm going to click Data View. All right, we're going to go get our pivot table. I'm going to do on this existing worksheet. A1, click OK, click OK. Now I'm going to go to Categories. You've got to be kidding me. This is the Category Lookup. That's probably not a very good name, but that is our category. Now we're going to go to all three tables. This is 1.2 million rows. And boom, there is our calculation. Now let's go back over to Power Pivot, Alt-Tab, click in the top cell, and I'm going to format this. One thing that's nice about Power Pivot is that whatever formatting your columns have or our calculated fields down here, it should show up over in the pivot table. There we go. That's quite amazing. That's a lot uh, e easier and faster in the long run than doing a three-way lookup with array formulas across millions of rows. All right, we'll see you next video.